What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am G, aka The Hungry John, and welcome to another episode of Yum or Um, which is basically my little series where I try different recipe recipes and we're gonna see if they're actually really good or if they're trash. So we're gonna be cooking from this book called Flavor and I'm gonna open it up to this page also. Look at me and my best friend, Bestie! Her name is Soul. love her so much. We've been friends for so many years, it's crazy. Anywho, um, so this is what I'm making today, right? It is called Noor's Black Line Tofu. And the picture itself is like gorgeous. Look at how vibrant those colors are. You have some onions, some spinach, and tofu. Um, now, as far as black lime goes, of course, they don't sell it in any of the stores in Philadelphia. But they do sell it online. I was not able to get it in time for this video. But it does say that you can use fresh lime, which is what I'll be using. This book is so full of vibrant colors and recipe dishes. The pictures are just to die for, and the recipes are so exciting. So I can't wait to try more recipes from this chef. But right now I'm gonna get started working on the pickled onions for the recipe. Now I'm not gonna go into detail about what I used or how much I used of each of these items, just simply because um, this is not my recipe, and I don't want to take money out of someone else's pocket. Y'all know how I do. So if you are interested in checking out more recipes from the chef, definitely check out his books on Amazon. There, I think I paid maybe like 30 bucks for the Flavors Cookbook, but it was well worth the $30, especially after tasting this dish. It was really good. It was such a light dish, but it was full of flavor. So I definitely recommend you trying it. So again, I'm going ahead and making the pickled red onions for the dish. I forgot to put the red onions on the dish before I took my picture, but just know this dish needs the red onion with, the, it just brings the whole dish together. So don't be like me, don't forget to put the red onions on, but um, it was still a phenomenal dish. So next I have extra firm tofu. One thing that I found really interesting about this recipe is that I didn't have to press the tofu. Normally a lot of recipes, especially when you're going to fry tofu, they talk about pressing it, but this recipe, this didn't require for me to press out the tofu, which I thought was really convenient and um, it kind of made the dish go by quickly. Now I will say about one thing I will say about this recipe or the recipes in this book is that they're very time consuming. So you wanna make sure that you have enough time to create or prepare the dish in full. Also, this is a little trick. Um, I don't like to get my fingers dirty when it comes to uh, coating tofu. So I just put it in a little bag and shake it up and look at that, perfectly cubed and coated tofu. But anywho, you wanna definitely make sure you have time to make his recipes because they are very, very involved. And it, I don't mean involved in terms of like your cooking time, but sometimes like, you know, you have right here where I showed you the pickled onion, that takes time to pickle. You know, it takes time to fry the tofu. Um, here I had to pull out my food processor to chop up and blend up the onions and garlic. You know, that takes time. So his recipes are a little bit more involved. So I wouldn't recommend it if you, you know, are coming home from work and you wanna make something really quick to eat. This is something more like you wanna have some nice music playing, maybe a little glass of wine or like your favorite beverage, you know, on the side and you just take your time and make this an experience. So that's, that's what, I, what I think uh, about when it comes to creating recipes from this book. But as far as flavor, flavors go, the flavors are a bit more complex. So 
if your children aren't used to eating things like harissa or black lime or tofu for that matter then this also will not be the book for you this is a perfect book for if you want to make something fancy for um, dinner on a weeknight of course or you know you want to make a fancy gourmet dinner for your boo or something like that like you know what I mean like that's more so what the kind of recipes are in this type of book as well so keep that in mind all right I'm gonna let you guys watch for a little bit and I'll be back a little bit later If you have made it this far in the video, I appreciate y'all for sticking around, hanging out with me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think, I think in total it took me about two hours to create this dish or to prepare this dish, I should say. So again, this is not really something that you would want to try if you are coming home from a long day of work. Well, it's COVID or you know, you've worked a long day from home. You know, the last thing you want to do is spend an additional two hours making one dish. Um, also, I don't think that this is the type of dish that you should prepare a large amount of and eat it for the entire week. That's just me, though. I got kind of tired of the flavor after a day or two. Um, and then also because this is a vegan dish, it is very, very light, so you do want to pair it with some rice or some quinoa or something that's going to stick to your bones and make you feel full. Um, so other than that, it was a really good dish. It was really tasty, though. Um, I do recommend a lot of the recipes in this book being good for a special gourmet dinner, you know, for you and your boo. Um, I don't think a lot of the recipes in this book is meant for, like, picky eaters or picky children so keep that in mind as well uh but yeah i think that is definitely still worth buying and trying and just having in your cooking artillery because it's different a lot of the a lot of the 
the meals in in here are different um and their fl flavor profile is very different but again like i said i highly recommend it all right you guys if you made it to the end i want to thank you guys so 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 much for checking out my video and hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you made it to the end and you have not yet subscribed make sure you subscribe all right i love to have y'all you know it's a party it's a whole family thing so you guys i'm gonna get going but remember to live full and eat well and i will see you guys in the next video bye